Okay, folks, this is uh, an addition to the series in Roland Heinz's eighth. Uh, what about the ghetto? Well, you know something? Uh, they have county engineer. We're, we're going to get his name for you. It says, hey, man, you don't need a retaining wall along this public pathway, that, which is much traversed here along Colima. See, it's a very busy street right next to the high school is up on Otterbein right behind me. And look at this. Uh, we have, they do, and it's, what, it's one of these slow, insidious things that keeps on going on. And what is the county doing? Well, they, they screwed up in the first place by failing to have the contractors, when they widened Colima here, to put in the retaining walls. And consequently, and you, you can look at the slope here. Look at that slope of this thing. Oh, and I, but you have a county engineer, and he's paid to say, hey, man, uh, you, know what the, you know what the odds are? Uh, uh, having slippage here and encroaching on the public right-of-way? Well, uh, hello, okay? If it had been done right, there was never been an issue. And I'll be putting out a Gazette issue showing exactly how bad it did get. And the county did nothing until some citizen I won't mention my name, brought it to the attention of then roads guy, Dave Diavoletti. Okay? And the rest is history. You get to stand by for that edition. Now here we have the county in its infinite wisdom saying, hey, this is what's called a retaining wall. Okay? And look, look at the slope on this thing. Okay? This is a retaining wall and you can see that it's already uh, yielding to the forces of nature. Where if you had a proper retaining wall with concrete and all that, yada yada. Now here again, we have the issue that the fence is being pushed out onto the sidewalk. Folks, it ain't supposed to be like, this is a straight up ghetto. And here we have a hazard, you know, uh, to men, women, children. People like getting children here. Okay, and we're going here along this, look at this. And why? Because the county failed you. It's doing a job. They widened the street and part of it. And again, this, this is not super engineering. You don't have to be a genius to figure this out. Of the slope of this sun. Boom. Okay, and then they allow these trees here, as you can see right here. And what's it doing is pushing the fence out. Yada, yada, and all the growth that you can see down there. And we come along here, and you want, and look at this. Look at this. We'll get some stills. We'll send this in. Oh, isn't this beautiful? Is this like third world ghetto? Yeah. And look at here. They. It appears as though they cut out the fence and put in what the county and the county engineers, obviously, because they get their ticket. This is a retaining wall which is actually on the sidewalk uh, that is supposed to be, uh, you know, for pedestrians, etc. You talk about ghetto, you talk about third world, and here in California, Los Angeles County, Roland Heights, I mean, for God's sakes, you know what I'm saying here? Look at this, and we go along, and it's still, look at the fence sticking out at the bottom. And, oh, you wanna talk about something? Let's back up a little bit and see how this fence is leaning out over the right-of-way. Why? Because the county still refuses to do the job right to make up for this particular situation. And that tree, hello, is it, what is this, rocket science? You know, it, you don't have to be a genius. Look at the slope here going up there. And look at how this is pushing out again, you know, all along here. Oh, and this this beauty, how about, how about third world ghetto operation right here and of course uh, this has been going on oh we got another nice tree who's gonna win is the tree gonna win or this chain link fence okay and to that I say do you need another reason to just kick the county to the curb and as a city what we'll do is file suit against Los Angeles County and we will win you know we will prevail and they will pay for fixing this up Okay, now as we come down here, this is a special thing. I have a still photograph taken years ago when Dave Diavoletti 
uh, was head of roads over in Baldwin Park. And this whole sense where you see this fence here, this thing was all pushed out to halfway onto the sidewalk. It, it was something, you had to see it to believe it. Okay, and, and the fence here, uh, do we have a little leaning issue on that? But this is the county. As a city, we can do something about this, like make them pay to have this thing corrected. They cause the pro, they are the proximal cause. That's one of those big legal terms. It means but for the negligence and or incompetence, but how can you be that incompetent? You know what I'm saying? Given all the uh, trees and so forth, how, how can this happen? Okay, folks, here's uh, nothing more. And uh, we're gonna go down here and get a, another little photo thing. I'll speed up the pace of the walking here. It ain't supposed to be like this. This is 2018 and you have the county ghetto, third world attitude. And if, who else is out here saying anything besides me in the past 30 some years? Is it the coordinating council? Really? Are you serious? And then we, what, we get back here to this retaining wall that your county had decided, hey, this is the way it's supposed to happen here in the 21st century. Uh, yesterday, it had uh, We Lo Love USA, and then over on over here, we, and this is about two foot letters, we had President Trump, M-A-G-A, -A, Make America Great Again. And I sent this to the offices of uh, Supervisor Hahn, and guess what, folks? Faster than a speeding bullet, more power than a locomotive, leaping tall buildings with a single bound. It's gone. And at least the, the graffiti guys did a little better job than uh, what they, that's a graffiti abatement people who, again, it is called the ghetto uh, graffiti abatement. You know what I'm saying? Okay, folks, take care. This will be up on YouTube for seven minutes and 15 seconds. Bye.